helps the voiceless creature. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Wet Tutorial. In this video, we are going to study about the joints of hind limb in tabular form, which includes the joints of hind limbs, the types of joints, the movement, bones involved in joint formation and ligaments. But before starting this, subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon and if you like this video, give a very big thumbs up. Let's begin. First is sacroiliac articulation. Type of joint is amphiarthrosis. Movement is restricted in young and no appreciable movement in adults. Bones involved are articular surface of the wings of ilium and articular surface of sacrum. And ligaments are capsular ligament, less developed, and accessory ligaments, which are sacroiliac dorsal, sacroiliac lateral, and iliolumbar ligament. Second is pelvic symphysis. Type of joint is synarthrosis. No movement is involved. And bones involved are pubis and ischium of one side meet with the similar bone of oppo opposite side in the median plane and ligaments is connective tissue fibers. Then third is hip joint. Type of joint is ball and socket joint. Movement is polyaxial. Bones involved are cotyloid cavity of os coxae and head of the femur. Ligament is capsular ligament, round ligament, cotyloid ligament, accessory ligament, one pair in horse. Then fourth is stifle joint. In this, three types of articulation are present. First is femoropatellar articulation. Second is femorotibial articulation. Third is tibiofibular articulation. So first in femoropatellar articulation, the type of joint is arthrodial gliding joint. Movement is gliding movement. And bones involved is trochlear of the femur and articular surface of the patella. Ligaments are capsular ligament, lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament, fourth is patellar ligament. In this, medial patellar ligament, middle patellar ligament and lateral patellar ligament. Then second is femorotibial articulation. The type of joint is hinge joint. Movement is extension and flexion and limited rotator movement. The bones involved are condyles of femur and proximal end of the tibia. Menisci are present between the articular surface. And the ligaments are capsular ligament, lateral ligament, medial collateral ligament and ruccinate ligament. Then third is tibiofibular articulation. Type of joint is synarthrosis and in this no movement is involved and the bones involved are lateral aspect of lateral condyle of tibia and proximal end of the fibula. Then hog joint which consists of tibiotarsal articulation. Type of joint is hinge joint. Movement is extension and flexion. Bones involved are distal end of the tibia with proximal end of proximal tarsal and lateral malicious bone. Ligaments are capsular ligament, lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament, anterior oblique ligament, posterior ligament. And the remaining joint that is fetlock, pestin and coffin joint is same as the forelimb except in fetlock bone involved is metatarsal and first phalanx. Here we ends the joints of the forelimb. Stay safe and let's meet in the next video.